Uh, since there are children present, no shoot there I wasn't story that was handed down to me by my pelican master, Nikolaus Dimitriou Hotaxotes of the Alps. Many years ago at Pensacor, it came that uh, all of the armies of one side desired to fight for the other. For this was the year of Queen Aisla. And so, as the warriors took the field, they were given release from the middle to fight for the east, so that all may do honor to that queen who came with her illness and would leave us soon. But there was one hearty group of people who would not leave the middle, and the middle needed some people, because otherwise it wouldn't be a very uh, good fight. And those, in addition to the knights of the mid-realm, were the two chucks. Did they need others? The two chucks... For those of you that do not know or are new, are what we like to refer to as SCA adjacent. <laughs> they come fight with us at Penzik and use our rules, and they run a tournament that SCA people can enter by invitation using their rules. But their rules and our rules are a Venn diagram with only a very little overlap. They wear furs and nothing else. And when you fight in their tournament, there are no holds barred. But when they fight with us, they follow our rules, save that they wear the minimum amount of armor required. They charge <laughs> ravenously at the enemy, and they generally serve as the SCA's barbarians at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> now this year, there was one stalwart Tuchuk who looked across at the huge armies of the East and thought tactically. This was the first. <laughs> he said, last year, I was the Tucha. I charged first. I hit the wall first. I died first. <laughs> and then every single one of my brothers leaped off of me. I had boot-shaped bruises all across my body for six weeks. That sucked. <laughs> So I'm not going to do that again, but I'm going to be the second Tuchuk. And I'll jump off of the first Tuchuk and into the opposing army, and it'll be awesome. And all of the glory I thought I was going to get last year that got trampled out of me with size 12 combat boots, <laughs> I'll get to keep for myself. And so he waited, sword and a shield, and when the marshal cried lay on, he paused and then ran. And he saw one brave Tuchuk bolting out in front of him like, his, like he was on fire, like the object of his desire was hidden behind the enemy lines. And he thought, there's my man. So he runs and he gets right behind that guy, drafting him like a bicyclist, <laughs> running towards the line. And the first Tuchuk gets struck down, and the second Tuchuk goes, ha, puts a foot onto his brother's shield, leaps over the lines, makes it clear over the first line of shields. Now, fighting for the East King, there was a new spearman at his first Pensac who was so excited. And he'd heard about these two Chuck guys, and he wanted no part of that. So he did, since this was before it wasn't allowed, what any good spearman does in the face of a charge. He put his foot down, and he braced his spear against it. Uh -oh. <laughs> and he wasn't a small boy, so that spear wasn't going anywhere. And that is the sight that the two truck came sailing <laughs> over the line of the sea as it took him right in the sky. Oh. But unfortunately, no matter how much we like to pretend it doesn't, physics still guides all of our lives, even when we're in funny clothing. And so all of that forward momentum had to go somewhere. And it hit the spear and pushed it back until it was upright. With a two-chuck on the end. The entire battle stopped. Because, oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> you could have heard a pin drop and they would have shushed you and said, don't you see that Tucha? 
And so the entire battle heard as the spearmen did what we are taught to do. Looked up and he said, is that a good blow, my lord? <laughs> and the two chucks said, yes! <laughs> the spearmen looked up at him and said, is there something I can get you? <laughs> Down. <laughs> okay. Pulls the spear out. And physics takes its course. It said the two shot bounced three times before he finally settled down. And that is the creation of the famed military and culinary maneuver of the two shot on a stick.